Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nicole and I did say I was going to be posting videos every Sunday and Wednesday, but life happened this year so far and I haven't been able to post any videos. Plus, I'm taking five classes this semester, so I'm really trying to finish school on top of like working full time as a medical builder. It's, it's a mess, but I'm off tomorrow so I can stay up late tonight and get this video done because I've been so excited to film this. So without further ado, I am filming today a TJ Maxx and Ross haul. I went into TJ Maxx and Ross about a week or two ago and I just kind of went a little spending crazy. Um, my wardrobe has been feeling kind of drab lately and I feel like I need an update. Um, so I picked up some pieces and it's been so hard not to want to put them on and wear them because I really want to show them to you guys. Um, they've just been hanging in front of my closet door like, hey Nicole, come wear me. And I'm like, I can't, I have to show you off first. So this is going to be a try on video. Um, I can't link anything down in the description because I did pick them up at TJ Maxx. Um, but if you would like, I can find similar items on the TJ Maxx website and show them to you guys. Anyway. Let's get into the haul video. Okay, so the first thing I picked up was from Ross, actually. Let's do the Ross stuff first and then the TJ Maxx. Because Ross is only a couple items and then TJ Maxx is a little more. Excuse me, I need some aguas. That's important. The first thing I picked up from Ross was this really pretty, cozy, juicy, scarf this is by juice couture and i spent about seven dollars on it um in florida winter for us doesn't really start until mid january early february and winter i think the coldest we've ever gotten is like 27 degrees but it's still pretty chilly for me um so this was on clearance for about 7.49 like i said and it just has a big logo here that says juicy and yeah it's just super comfortable and i really really love it the next two items I picked up were some sports bras. Like I said, my wardrobe has been looking kind of drab and I really need to upgrade it, but I've been trying to work really hard on putting away money this year to spend on the stuff that I really, really desire. So um, I plan on updating my wardrobe, but I'm gonna do it little by little, just as I have some extra cash in my pocket. Um, so I picked up these two sports bras, this one is a Calvin Klein, because I love me, said Calvin Klein. This one's a little more expensive, this one was $16.99, but it's just this beautiful gray color, and I have to have padding and everything, because I'm a small chested girl, so I need a little more extra padding and support. And in the next sports bra I picked up was this black Puma one. This one was only $9.99. This again is just like the perfect sports bra for me. I have to have padding in every single bra that I wear just because I am a smaller chest. Um, I like to have a little bit of a oomph factor since I don't have much else going on for me except for maybe my booty. Um, but yeah, I just picked up this basic black sports bra. I plan on replacing all my old Victoria's Secret ones. And honestly, now that I've gotten older, I've kind of gotten out of the whole Victoria's Secret like hype thing i think they're a little overrated they have some beautiful lingerie pieces and i have a really cozy robe by them but i feel like there's nicer brands out there that are more like i'm not so colorful anymore i like to stick with basics and victoria's secret is all about like color and just like angels which i love that don't get me wrong but i'd rather stick to my basics and stuff i can wear like every single day rather than going out and buying this lingerie piece that i don't know where I'm gonna wear it to, maybe in the bedroom, but um, my man doesn't really care for lingerie, so I don't know. Maybe I'll get back into them one day, but so far I've been really loving anything Calvin Klein, anything Puma, just anything basic that I can wear every day and it's just easy to throw on. The next thing I'm gonna move into is my TJ Maxx stuff. I picked up some really, really nice stuff and I'm gonna style them up too for you guys so you can see I'm going to wear them, so let me go through um, the tops that I picked up first, and then I have two pairs of pants. The first top, ooh. The first top I picked up was this really cute off-the-shoulder crop top. It's got some really nice buttons down the front. When I saw this, I just couldn't put it down. Um, this cost me $9.99, so pretty good. Um, this is just a really beautiful top, and 
with spring coming up here soon i could just throw this on with a pair of jeans or a pair of pants i have there and i could also wear this with a skirt and it's just a really basic but beautiful top that i can just do so much with the next thing i picked up is a sweater this sweater is actually really out of my comfort zone um i'm really not a blue kind of girl um this whole blue thing I've kind of been getting into though started back when I went to my cousin's wedding and I wore this beautiful royal blue gown which of course I wore it to the wedding and now it's like stained and just torn to shreds but I guess it was just for one time use um but this just kind of reminded me of like a kind of like a princess style and my man calls me princess all the time so I am going to start um giving out that energy that I am a princess because Lord knows I am. Um, but this sweater is just really, really cozy and I figured if it's kind of cool on Valentine's Day, I could just throw this on with some jeans and just go out to the movies or whatever I plan on doing for that day. I know I'm working, so it might be Valentine's Day se celebrated on another day, um, but I just really love how cozy this is and I hope it fits as well as it feels. <laughs> The last two items I'm going to show you are bottoms. Um, the first pair is a pair of jeans and I already have one too many pairs of jeans um, but these were $13 and they're from American Eagle and they're my size which is a size zero and they just look very put together. I really don't care for jeans that are torn up and if I do get jeans that are torn I don't like to spend more than like 10 20 bucks on them because I figured I could just tear the jeans myself. Um, but these I figured would be really nice with that sweatshirt, um, and maybe some sparkly, lovely shoes, um, that I recently purchased. I don't know if I ever filmed a video on that, but I do have my sparkly silver Michael Kors shoes that I purchased for my cousin's wedding, and I figured with that blue top, these jeans, and the sparkly pumps, I can just rock the whole princess vibe and just feel, like, beautiful and, like, in love, kind of feeling which I live for that <laughs> the last pair of pants I bought is something else that's a little bit out of my comfort zone um these are kind of like high water pants because they don't really sit all the way down I do have long legs I am five foot nine um but these pants when I saw this and I saw I actually saw <sighs> sorry I need to get it together here um I actually saw this these pants first a few weeks before I purchased them and I picked them up I was like these are really nice I could wear these to work maybe throw like a a simple black top on and then when I picked up this shirt I just thought wow that is just like a beautiful spring look and I will insert it here so you guys can see what it looks like and I just I know I love these pants it gives me more like a conservative businesswoman feel which I just love feeling empowered and just like businessy and like I know what I'm talking about so and they do have pockets so no fear they do have pockets um the pockets in the back do not function and they just have a little tie up here and i just i love this ruffle detailing up top and like i said they kind of sit like high waters they don't go all the way down to the legs i'm or down to the feet um i'm sure if you were a little shorter they would go all the way down but me i'm a tall girl so i'm just gonna have to rock them with a pair of pumps and just pretend that that's how they work <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed um i'm going to maybe not set the expectation too high for myself when it comes to this channel and maybe post one video a week starting i love this stuff so much and i want to put out more content so fingers crossed that this this year is the year that i'm going to put out tons of content and that you guys would enjoy it again thanks for watching i'll talk to you guys soon bye